Living Muruga means two things. One is to get rid of your bad karma. As you know, the hardest thing in life is getting rid, rid of your bad karma. And the bad karma is responsible for your ill health, whether physical or mental. It's responsible for your poverty or prosperity. Uh, prosperity is given by good karma. Poverty is given by bad karma. And then the bad relationship, bad karma. It's just especially Mars, if it's afflicted, if it's in the seventh house, if Mars is in the seventh house, and that's again, if you have Mars in the seventh house, or if seventh house seems a, is your uh, Mars's house, you know, you have to do uh, participate in this uh, program to fix the affliction caused by Mars. So I'm going to talk, talk about the third eye for sure, and then the karma busting aspect of Muruga and killing. Now, I just remember I'm going to do one more thing. Maybe on the last day is the day when Muruga kills the demons. Uh, I will come up with uh, hmm, uh, some way uh, so that you can kill the demons while you are watching that. And then we will also enact that right here and then show it to you. Okay, so that you can cut the demon's uh, head or pierce this demon through the veil. Okay, and uh, so that I will add, and then I think uh, whatever Muruga says, uh, uh, as we go along, then we would, uh, uh, I also want to monitor what happens to the people who go through the program and how they are able to remove their stubborn karma. The karma is very stubborn on the one hand. And then how they are also able to open their third eye, decalcify. The calcification is the reason why the third eye is not functioning as it should be. And it was fun functioning when we were uh, young prior to puberty. So these are the key aspects of what I'm going to do. I know that I'm going to do a lot of research that I will make it available. The reason why I'm doing this is because it will be useful for humanity.